Hey, what up guys? I'm going to show you how to do something that I'm pretty excited about and that's this Google Sheets package. So if you go to pub.dev, you'll be able to find this Google Sheets package which basically connects uh, your Flutter project to a Google spreadsheet which I just find really amazing. So I'm going to show you how to do this. The first thing to do is go to Google Sheets and let's create a blank spreadsheet and let's just give this a title. So I'm just going to say Flutter G Sheets. And in a new tab, go to console.cloud.google.com And let's click new project And then you can name this uh, whatever you like I'm just going to call it Flutter G Sheets Tutorial Just make sure you click on the project that we just created You want to search Google Sheets API and click on this one and we want to enable this for our project. Awesome. And then let's go to the credentials tab and we're going to need to create credentials. Click on service account and again just give this um, just give this a name. It's going to call it Flutter G Sheets Tutorial create and continue and we can just continue again and click done and then you can come here and edit the service account and what we want to get from here is the keys tab we want to add a key let's create a new key and we want to select the JSON and create and it should automatically download a file for you. Next, you want to go to the details tab and you're going to see this email. And so you just want to copy this one, go back to your spreadsheet and we're going to share our spreadsheet to this email. Hit enter and then we want to send it. Cool. So now we've connected our G sheets to our Flutter project. So let's create a new Flutter project. open up the project we just created now from here what we want to do is and if you go to our pub.dev this is going to be the package that we're going to use and so let's just copy this one go to your pub spec yaml and we're going to add it to our dependencies so uh, if you don't put any numbers here it's just going to grab the latest one so save it and then what you want to do is come back to our main file I'm just going to delete everything below here just so that we can start fresh and before the main function we're just going to first of all create the credentials if you open that JSON file that you downloaded you want to copy everything in here and paste it as a credential and then the last thing we need is the spreadsheet ID and the spreadsheet ID is if you go back to your spreadsheet it's in, it's in between these two slashes so you want to copy this guy and paste it in there and that's basically all we need to do to link our Flutter project to our spreadsheet in the main function the first thing we need, we're going to do is change it to async this stands for asynchronous I'm just going to show you how to perform some basic functions the first thing we need to do is to initialize the, the Google spreadsheet and so I'm going to create um, something called G Sheets and then import this package. So this is what we create. Uh, this is what we added to our PubSpec YAML earlier. And here you can see we want to put our credentials in. So credentials, and then we also want to fetch spreadsheet by its ID. And so let's say SS standing for spreadsheet. grab the G sheets that we created earlier and we want to say spreadsheet and then spreadsheet ID which we have as well and then we want to grab the worksheet by its title 
So if you look back at our spreadsheet, so we have spreadsheets and under here you can have different worksheets, right? So um, if I just call this say um, worksheet one, then we'll create a variable and we'll just call it sheet. And on the spreadsheet that we had earlier, we're going to use one of these. I just typed in worksheet and you have all these different options. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it with the title. And we called it worksheet one. So now we've set it all up so that we can try to add some values to our spreadsheet. And so the basic function I'm just going to show you for this video is updating a cell. And so I'm going to say await sheet.values. And then I'm going to use, so you can see again, there's a lot of options. I'm going to use insert value and you can see the different parameters we need to fill out. So the first part is a string value so what do we want to put in the cell let's say let's say coco and the column first column and the first row let's see what this error says here it's probably got something to do with the null yeah let's just add a null check and basically what this does is we're just checking if the sheet is um if the sheet actually exists or not so if i save this and I run it, hopefully we get something in this first cell. That's the first column of the first row. Awesome, and there it is. So that's how we connect our Flutter project to a Google spreadsheet. And I just find this really cool. The fact that you can use Google spreadsheet for some basic backend. For example, I can save high scores, not locally on the device, but now I can save it on this Google spreadsheet so that we have a high score system going on. I'm also working on other things like a habit tracking app and so I want a place to store some basic information and so I'm going to show you guys how to do this in the following videos. If you guys have any questions just let me know but other than that thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next couple of videos. Laters.